ready. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terabyte Ribiac. Completely messed that up. It, it, it was going so well. And then Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in once again for some more slam dunk reactions, man. We have about I think 21 episodes to go. Or like tw I think it's like 22 episodes ago, I should say. Um, so yeah, man, we are trucking along, and I'm curious. You guys said this arc does not end until like I think it's like episode 84, or 85, or something like that. So we still got more to go. I don't know what I'll be doing. I'll probably go till the end of the arc in this session right here. We'll see how it goes. If we get to, I'm planning to stop at 83 because that's four episodes. But if the arc doesn't if the game i should say does not end at 83 then i'll go one more and see where it goes from there but anyways man i've been enjoying this i'm still waiting you guys know how much i want to get pumped for hanamichi hopefully it doesn't come in, in this game because i'm recording late at night right now and i don't want to get too excited but you know in any case i still want to get some things uh, I still want to see it, you know, and it's going to be, I'm going to give a, a fist bump or something. <laughs> I don't know. But if it happens, it happens because I can't make too much noise right now um, because I'm testing out everything. I'm also still testing the system and the new um, of how I want to record and stuff like that going forward. You guys see, you guys know I got the drip, the equipment drip now. You know what I'm saying? I got the equipment drip. You know what I'm saying? I'm recording 1080p 60 frames per second right now. I'm feeling good about myself. You know what I'm saying? So all these videos that are going up to YouTube, um, you know, and even to the to, to the um, drive as well, I've cut it down to a minimum so that it's the file are not too big to go to the Google Drive as well because storing the these videos are becoming they're becoming a pain in my ass <laughs> to, to be honest to having to store these full reactions somewhere whether it be the Google Drive or on Vimeo you know what I'm saying your boy's running out of space and I gotta keep paying for space so then again they're becoming a pain in the ass hopefully you know what I'm saying we can get some more subscribers on the channel some more membership so i can use that money to keep putting out these reactions because boy let me tell you <laughs> but anyways i'm not a complainer so i'm not gonna complain there's nothing to complain about but any case we're gonna jump into some slam dunk reactions and i will see you guys for the review All right, so let's talk about it, man. Slam Dunk Shohoku versus Shohoku versus Ryonen finally over. Let's talk about it. So, I enjoyed this game very much. Um, so first let me get the the um negatives out of the way for me. I think they stretched the match out a little bit too long over too much too many episodes way too many episodes for this um in my opinion i think the match could have ended a long time ago ago but the thing about it is this though it's not even really a negative to be honest because i enjoyed it i enjoyed the ride so i'm not even gonna knock it for that reason you know what i'm saying like i'm not even gonna knock it for that because i enjoyed every episode everything that they did but i still think it was a little bit lengthy you know what i'm saying um and that's the only thing that i have negative to say about it i mean otherwise the storytelling that they were doing was very great they took their time 
to really savor um, the moments that happened during this game. You know, Mitsui, you know, falling over dehydration, you know, um, Coach Anzai was out. There's a lot of things, a lot of things that happened in this arc of a story between from them losing to Kainen, you know, um, you know, uh, and then Rionan losing to Kainen. Uh, and then we had the showdown, right? And from all the emotions and stuff like that, and we knew what was at stake. And as I said before, you know, I knew the game was going to come down to the wire. You know, um, I expected that much because if you're writing a story and you're taking this long to get through to get through an arc like this, you expect them to go like this. And I can I still need to readjust some stuff on on the camera and the, 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 the chroma key because I can see green. Um, if you if you look at me really carefully and really close, you'll see green on the chair, not necessarily on me myself. You know, if I hold my arm out, you'll see that I have a green halo around my body, like a border. <laughs> like, I need to get rid of that. So now that I know this, I can fix it. But in any case, I really do appreciate them. Yeah, I really do appreciate them taking the time to tell the story because, you know, it's, it's worth it. It was worth it. It was worth the watch. I don't know how many episodes it was. It seems like about 10 episodes. Um, at, you know, all the struggles that they went through to get here, you know, to see Akagi break down, to see, you know, Sakuragi making an official dunk and an official um offensive hype play and it, and it came at a very big moment they needed those two points because they never know what you know sendo was going to do sendo was an excellent show off if if you want to call it that he really showcased his skill because he's a high octane offensive player but then, you know, he decided to become a more of a passer once he realized the joy of passing also, because he was a straight up just offensive beast. But, you know, um, so to see him, sh them give him his time to showcase those skills and, you know, you can tell why him and Maki is like one and two, you know what I'm saying? Um, Maki, I think, is on a different level. And I and I think the reason why I think Maki is a better player than Sendo, I think it's because of his mainly because of his size and what he does at the point guard position. Like he's easily a takeover kind of player. You know what I'm saying? Um he can take over the game whenever he wants. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's that type of player to me. As I said, I, I, he reminds me a lot of Magic Johnson. You know, being that big and playing point guard, you're always going to think Magic Johnson or a LeBron James. You're always going to think of those guys because I think Magic Johnson, to date, is probably, um, probably the only person that have played that have at that height at point guard position his whole career you know what i'm saying so it's definitely something to to look at you know what i mean but <laughs> it was it, it's one of those things man where you where you just have to just look at it and be like wow those guys really got the skills you know so for this i really enjoyed it man so i'm not gonna bore you guys any longer with me talking here Plus, as I said, it's late at night. I don't want to talk too loud either. Even though this room is full soundproof, I still don't want to make too much of a noise and talk too loudly in here because it might seep out a little bit. So in any case, um, this was very enjoyable, a very enjoyable game. I'm glad to see that everybody kind of stepped up and got their moment in this game. Rukawa. 
I have not mentioned him yet. Rukawa. That boy could ball. That boy could ball, man. And I'm hoping to see great things from them at Nationals, man. Uh, hopefully, you know, I'm pretty sure that the competition is going to get a little bit... It's going to get better. So they have to get better. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. In any case, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to comment. And as always, you know what to do. Subscribe if you're new. See boy, terabyte reacts, and I'm out. Peace.